Temptation. Some places are just so damn good at it. There are 13 species in this episode. Wahoo, Cobia, Barracuda, Amberjack, Jack Creval, Yellowjack, Horsine Jack, Mutton Snapper, Red Grouper, African Pompano, Bonita, Black Fintuna. Let's review that again. Wahoo, Cobia, Barracuda, Amberjack, Jack Creval, Yellowjack, Horsine Jack, Mutton Snapper, Red Grouper, African Pompano, Bonita, Black Fintuna. And there's another baker's dozen out there that weren't cut swords, sails, and dolphin fish in the Florida Straits. Bonefish, tarpon, snook, and permit in the backcountry. Welcome to the greatest saltwater aquarium on Earth, Key West, the tiny island at Florida's end. Feels like the Caribbean, but functions like America. Captain Jared Sear and Captain Jack Walker grew up together in Key West, friends since the age of two. Jared and I met in Tiny Tots when we were two years old, and we always used to argue back and forth about whose dad or granddad was better at fishing. And we'd always argue about who was catching bigger yellowtails or who was catching more kingfish, whatever time of year it was, whatever we were fishing for. And we'd go back and forth and argue every grade until we were I don't know, old enough to go in the boat. Since I was a kid, I've always known I wanted to do it. My father's a guide, my younger brother's a guide now. I knew it was something that would make me happy, and I really didn't know what else I wanted. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that I get to look forward to going to work every day. Jared is the fourth generation Keys guy, young but wise. Jack is the slash, guide slash firefighter slash smartass. If my favorite clients describe me, they'd probably say I was a funny guy, or I don't know, anybody doesn't think I'm funny. I wasn't very funny, though. Um, how would you describe me? I think funny. I'm hilarious. Look at that red grouper. Fire truck. Beautiful. Shark? No, you just got shark. Oh, there you go, you got the head. <laughs> Feed that grouper to the shark. Two 
two species down, 11 to go. The 36 is staged at Ocean's Edge, the Keys' newest and biggest resort in Marina. 163 slips, an ocean view out of every window. From Stock Island, the crew makes a run to an Air Force relay radio tower close to Fort Jefferson. The tower is a creature condominium. The resident microorganisms and crustaceans attract bait fish which in turn attracts just about everything else. But first, a quick review of the checklist. Versatile, fast, fuel efficient, the Yellowfin 36 Offshore. For power, Triple Mercury 350 Verano outboards. The Simrad NSS-12 EVO 2 delivers HD structure scan and broadband sonar through its 12-inch multi-touch display. Simrad's handheld VHF radio has integrated GPS, crisp audio, and features like plotting and navigation modes. Yeti provides knockabout gear for any weather condition. For tackle, Penn solid rods and reels outfit both inshore and offshore needs. Costa sunglasses are made tough and durable while cutting haze and blur for greater clarity on the water. A custom fiberglass replica by King Sailfish release mounts captures your trophy catch down to the finest detail. Oh, he's hitting the bottom. Come on, buddy. Meet the Jacks. Jack Craval. They feed on bait at the surface and make a scene doing so. Monster, folks, an absolute monster. Like I said, he's a smart ass. Oh, look at that! Yellowjack. You'll find them following schools of larger fish and picking scraps from the table. It's the only type of jack my grandma will eat. Foresight Jack, tough, edible depending on who you ask, and named for the pool ball sized orbs that protrude from their sloping head. Real good action on this top water we're using today. And he grunts just like Gary. Come on, Gary. These make great bait for sharks. Great picture fish. <laughs> Barracuda, you know, they jump. This one ate a live mullet on the top, too. <laughs> Big coat! <laughs> what a fish. Woo. That's a nice Literally nice phobia there. the most mixed bag as you wide can as it gets. Do in a wide day. Dive in, see if I can make some drops and shoot something. Summer Sawaya, spearfisher. Whatever's down there, hopefully some muttons, some big mangroves.
very nice. Mm. Blast them too. Summer the Spearfisher isn't the only mermaid in Key West. There's another one, a thirsty one. A place where the day's fresh catch doesn't come from hundreds or thousands of miles away, but from the neighboring dock. Imagine that. Out at the radio tower, Jack and Jared are anchored, up current and chummy. Deepwater Mountain Snapper crews below. Hey, little jiggle and he'll stick his fins back up. A trade secret right there, guys. A little wiggle. You know, some of these fish have a real, real light color. A lot of pink in the fins here. You got a big blue line on his eye. A nice school mutton bite here. Got him schooled up. Them sharks fight you all the way. Quality fish after quality fish. Now, a lot of folks think this is the same fish over and over and over. It ain't. A nice Key West mutton snapper. We got Captain Jared Sear here, Key West, Florida. Now it's just a race for the cooler here. You know, nice school mutton bite. You know, not giant fish, but good. Quality mountain snappers here. Draw in on this wall here. You know, you got a big drop off. Sometimes occasionally get a wahoo here. Here they go, wahoo on. Coming right for me. Oh yeah, wahoo! Ryan Shapiro is the executive chef of the Thirsty Mermaid, a modern fish house on Fleming Avenue. IPAs on tap, oysters on ice. We grew up together since we were walking, talking fish, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. Jared and Ryan go way back. Two kinds of people growing up down here, the people that like the water and are into it and you know, end up making a living off of it, and then the other half leave. The Thirsty Mermaid only deals in fish from the Key West docks. Their slogan, locally sourced, created with love. 68% of the seafood that people eat in the United States is imported from outside the United States. Why? We have such a great resource here. Why not use it? 
that's kind of what we're moving toward here, you know, becoming our fish house. And now I can, you know, walk down the docks with these guys and pick the fish that I want. For tuna, a shrimp boat is a floating bucket of Halloween candy. Let's ring the doorbell, shall we? Commercial shrimping boats are the right vessels to cozy up to. The spillover from the harvest makes them a fish magnet. A few freebies and the feeding frenzy is on. Here it comes. Uh -huh. The target is Blackfin Tuna, but Bonita joined the ruckus. Good luck telling them apart. It's hard to make a proper ID when they're moving at this speed. Blackfin tuna in the Gulf of Mexico off the shrimp boats. Awesome spot for catching fish on fly. Spin, top water plug. Some is the threadfin trevally. The chrome-plated African pompano is good fun on light tackle. The long sickle-like rays are common among the young, but disappear with age, like a Mohawk millennial getting ready for the real world. Yeah. Well, Full streamer African pompano, yeah, check that out. They extend well beyond the end of the fish. Here we go. 
There are no suburbs or urban centers or countrysides in Key West. It's one tightly knit community. The kind of place where the guy in the fire truck is the guy on the charter boat. No wonder Jared and Jack still call it home. Familiarity is often the greatest temptation of them all. Yeah, how you doing? 